before I forget, I need to give a shout out to Edwin Santos, tricycle driver that picked up Cecile the other day. And I forgot where you went. You went to the dentist? I went to the dentist. And he recognized her from our videos. And then he asked you why you're not filming yeah, no or something. Video. And then he mentioned our channel. Mm -hmm. Did he ask where I was? Did he yeah. ask about me at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to Edwin Santos, a tricycle driver from City of Belonga. What you're doing for? Thank you. Everybody, we're here at uh, SM City Clark. Good morning, Cecile has an appointment, and uh, just got done eating at Starbucks. Got some coffee and something to eat. It's not really much open yet. Her appointment's at 10, and the mall opens at 10, so we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for the mall. So from our house in Belonga, it took us about just a little over an hour. I'd say maybe an hour and 10 minutes to drive up here on the expressway and I'm kind of wondering why I've never done this before because we always wind up going to Subic uh, or the malls in our city there but we always enjoy the Mall of Asia in Manila and there's a lot of stuff you can buy there that you just can't find other places so I'm pretty impressed so far just looking at this SM Mall haven't been inside yet but very big I've seen a lot of videos you know people make videos guys that live in this area a lot of videos on the SM mall so I'm not going to show you too much about what all's here talk too much about the mall but pretty much everything you probably would want or need is probably here um, most of you guys know already there's Texas Roadhouse here uh, there's Chili's there's Denny's a lot of American food here and just a lot of things that you probably can't find many other places so I'm kind of looking forward to looking around inside here because her appointment is inside the mall one of the medical clinics so looking forward to checking it out but uh, I was gonna talk about what we did last night let you guys know where we went Liam and Cecile found a swing Swinging too hard, you gotta be yeah. easy. Don't, your mom thinks it's gonna flip over. So last night, uh, I got to experience eating at a place where Cecile used to work. Cause I hear a lot of stories from Cecile about some of her old jobs and everything. And we got to talking a while back about when she worked at Fortune Hong Kong seafood restaurant. And uh, Chinese restaurant and uh, I was was interested to kind of go there because I knew that she had worked there before so I asked her if her mom had ever ate there she said her mom never had ate there so we invited her mom offered to take her there for dinner because I wanted to go there and see it and you know, I kind of thought it might be interesting for her mom to go there also since she'd never been it's kind of in a little bit expensive place but uh, just not a normal place that your mom would ever go eat it's more uh more pricey than what she would like and then you you have to dress a little bit nice so they kind of avoid those types of places a lot of cecile's family do it's a little bit she feels a little bit uncomfortable yeah they're not used to going out to some of the restaurants like that so i thought it'd be a pretty neat experience for 
myself and for Cecile's mom. So that's what we did last night and uh, we had a good time. Let's see if anybody will recognize Cecile. Fortune Hong Kong Seafood Restaurant. Maybe let Cecile show us to our table. Maybe let Cecile show us to our table. Oh, he's my co-worker. Oh, he's still here. Huh? Nice to meet you. So I noticed since you're not working here anymore, business is kind of getting slow. Lunch more busy? Okay, I'll, I'll wash my hands. Okay, now that you're back here as a customer, tell us, tell us an interesting story from work. Yeah, did anything ever crazy happen or a funny story from when you worked here? When we're working, we don't feel we're tired because we are close. Having fun? Having fun, you know, playing around when the bus is not around. Mm -hmm. You know, because we have uh, co-workers that are funny. And then even the kitchen stuff and then dishwasher stuff, we are all so we're gonna know more and then when about when each one of us leaving we're crying we're sad what about uh, any important people ever come in here yeah mayor mayor yeah. and celebrities politicians celebrities did you see some yeah I see some but I don't remember now who are they wow but I remember they have a lot of uh, customers every afternoon. So lunch, lunch is busier yeah, or right after yeah. work? More politicians come in here and they have a security guard, they have a bodyguard. So you never had like a fire in the kitchen or no, armed robbery no. or anything like that? No. Even though security guard were close to them. Was it different security yeah, guard? It's a different, different one now. So you used to stand out front, yeah. and uh, that's like a hostess station, mm -hmm. and you're just greeting people when they come in. Yeah. What are you opening the door or something like that? And then we're wearing a Chinese long dress with a big slip on the side. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you're kind of like a what do they call that? Like an advertisement or trying to lure people yeah. in? And then whenever we're giving. Uh, Whenever there's an event in the, at the hotel, we're giving away, we're waiting at the door, giving flyers. Oh, know. yeah. Because the hotel and the restaurant is the same owner. The hotel's yeah. across the street, and they're the ones that own the restaurant also. Has it changed at all? Look the same as it did yes. before? So how many years now has it been since you worked there? I think 2010. So about 13 years ago. Good? That's what you're doing for? Thank you. So this is where you used to sit? Right here?
get done here at the mall we're actually going to another place on our way back home which will be in a different video so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video seeing uh, Cecile's old workplace I wish some of her former employees uh, co-workers would have been there there was uh, one co-worker there that she remembered they remembered each other from before but uh, most all the people have changed now but anyway it was a fun experience for all of us so thanks for watching everybody take care We'll see you on the next video. We're going to go check out the SM Clark, SM City.